um, earlier you were talking to Dara about relationships mm -hmm. and you had asked if any of her relationships were not going well. And I realized I was like, Oh, it feels like almost all the relationships in my life right now are under some sort of like they could explode at any moment. Okay. So, I don't know if it's because something inside me is just feeling like I'm going to explode at any moment, like emotional overload or something. And I'm just not sure how to deal with it. Cause it feels like it's a lot that I've created like an uneasy, just uneasy relationships. Okay. Are, how long have the relationships been like this? Ever since I moved to the city. So it's been like a year and now I'm in a romantic relationship and everything was fine. But now I'm starting to add that to the, to the, okay. To the group and how at ease are you living in the city Ow. horribly <laughs> I, I i've never been more like unhappy with where i am like it doesn't feel like home i feel out of place okay but i'm with family so i feel like guilty that i don't feel like grateful or appreciative of my situation i just want to get the hell out of here <laughs> So there's a couple ways you can go. You can get the hell out of here if you really don't like the city. Mm -hmm. Or we, we can look at, okay, what is it about the city that you really don't like? There's a few little random things. I guess I've just always been used to stepping outside of my house and being surrounded by nature. Mm -hmm. And for that's just comforting for me. And mm -hmm. here... I guess I step outside and there's just people everywhere and living with my family is the first time in five, four years. And that's been overwhelming. And I just feel like overwhelmed. Okay. But so do you need to get away from people? It feels like it, but I feel like I isolate myself. Okay. At the same time, or I feel like I need to get away from people. I feel super creative and happy when I'm, out in the woods. Okay. How often do you get out? As much as I possibly can. But I have to drive to get there. And now I, my dog has puppies. And I'm just, yeah. But I try to get out as often as possible. Okay. Do you have to suffer for your family? Oh, that's interesting. Um, mm -hmm. No, I don't. That's not coming up true. But I feel like I am. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, like, I feel like, oof, I don't know. I feel almost like I'm playing a victim, though, too. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, like, poor me. I had to move here and... I'm like just playing a victim in so many areas, it seems now. Okay. So do you need to milk the victimhood for as much as it's worth? What does that mean? While you're playing the victim, do you need to really play the victim? Do you have to like, do build I feel it up and get other people to see how much you're a victim and create this whole life of victimhood because it, You've just been stuck in the situation. You really don't like it. Um, I don't know. I think. Okay, let me ask you this. Will anyone care or even notice if your victimhood isn't big enough? No. Okay. okay. So are you willing to destroy the belief that you have to make your victimhood big enough so that other people will care and notice?
I want to say yes, but somehow in my brain, I'm not like, mm -hmm. not because your story. Yeah. Cause your story is, is that you, you've got to get this victim. You're not going to get the attention you need without being a victim and your, your brain doesn't want to go into that space. Okay. So let's go to the other one first. Are you willing to step out of the story that you need to suffer for your family? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so now let's try it again. Are you willing to destroy the belief that you need to make your victimhood bigger so that you will, oof, so that people will notice and pay attention to you? Yeah. <coughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. A lot of energy there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Remember, beliefs come first, reality comes second. So the reality you've created for yourself is a result of the beliefs you got into, especially when you came into the city. Mm -hmm. Once you change the beliefs, reality itself will start to change. So you'll have more opportunities to be in nature. You'll be around people less naturally. It'll all just shift. Now that you don't have to suffer for your family, and now that you don't have to create more attention by being in the victim mode. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, you good? I, I think so. There's lots of layers, but... That is definitely one of them. Okay. Thanks. Hey, this is Shiraz. And if you made it this far, please click like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. And if you would like shifts like the person in the video, subscribe to our monthly magic program. The link is in the description. You will get monthly coaching as well as emails going out to help boost your vibration, your wealth, your success, and as well as a lot of other perks. And remember, be well, be aware, and be magical. <music>